Okay, in our next example, we're looking at the, the half circle function. <clears throat> now in this case, um, our radius is not nine, but the square root of nine, which is equal to three. Okay, so our example that we had on the first day was um, with radius equal to five, but radius can change. So our initial points are going to be negative three, zero, zero and three, and three comma zero. So, as above, we're multiplying the y values by a. In this case, a is rep represented by negative 2. So y is multiplied by negative 2. And that gives me 0 here, negative 6 here, and 0 here again. The x values remain the same for now until we get to the horizontal and vertical transformation. So in the x case, we're subtracting 2, and in the y, we're subtracting 3. So negative 3 becomes negative 5, 0 becomes negative 2, and 3 becomes 1. As for the y values, we get negative 3, negative 9, and negative 3 again. So what does that look like? Moving over to our graph, negative 5 and negative 3 is going to be somewhere, well, exactly right here. Negative 2 and negative 9 is going to be over here and as well we're going to go down 9. And final point is 1 and negative 3 which is over here. So remember <clears throat> the reflection means that our half circle is going to open upside down and the 2 means that it's reflected, sorry it's that it's stretched. So what we end up with is something like this. Not a parabola, it's more like half of an ellipsis or an oval if you want to call it okay also it's different from a problem because we have terminating endpoints it doesn't go beyond one or below negative five so how does that affect our domain and range well our domain is going to be everything in between negative five and one including negative five and one and our range Let's take a look over here is everything from negative 9 down here all the way up to negative 3 over here so that's how our range changes a little bit negative 9 all the way up to negative 3 and there you have it okay what I'm gonna do here is just erase this unnecessary stuff around and there you have your example. Next we move on to the reciprocal function, which is one that always causes a little bit of challenge for students.